Do you think that changing technology presents more challenges or opportunities for my generation? Opportunities more than challenges, but the challenges always come up. The problem is there are new challenges and they're always unexpected. Mm -hmm. Like at the moment, we have a big challenge with fake news. There's always been problems with people putting out things that are fake, propaganda and so forth. But the particular form in which this is right now is a very different form from the past because of social media and the way technology works. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think technology has moved us forward societally fantastically over the last 15 years plus. Once, when you were much younger, maybe five, we used to make paper laptops and you used to fold a piece of paper and you'd draw a keyboard on the bottom bit and you'd draw a screen on the top bit and it, you'd open it out looking like a laptop. And once I asked you, <laughs> Uh, you know, when I was your age, I, I didn't do this. What, why do you think that was? And you thought very carefully for a couple of seconds and said, no paper. <laughs> and I always thought that was pretty funny because it was like you couldn't imagine at that, at that point a world without laptops. And you, you were sort of wondering whether, you know, whether a paper or laptop, not to embarrass you or anything. What technological advance do you most or least want? From my point of view as a student, the volume of stuff that we need to learn currently seems ridiculous when you think that you can get information in a split second. That's what I always think when I'm learning things. It's just, I can learn it, it's useful to know, but if I'm not actually using it all the time, what help is there if I'm going to misremember So you like, I mean, there's so much more you could it. learn now. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it seems important to know how to learn, but not necessarily to learn all of it because the computer's there already. I mean, because do you think schooling in general is helping you for the rest of your life? And, and I think it's very interesting the split you've you've. Because I think that about. the atmosphere and the people you meet and the relationships that you form at school they are helpful in later life because a lot of the situations are a kind of dulled down version. But academically, I think it's going back to our earlier point. It's what we've been taught to prepare us for what the current working world is and whether that will be helpful in 15 years when we're actually there. I don't know, but I think it's actually more the soft skills of, you know, communication, and empathy and everything else. that you Maybe how get. to learn as well. I mean, how you learn things as well as specifically what you've learned. I thought I was thought I'm more techy than you, actually. But you are you are interested in the sides of technology that are old, I like see. programming, which has been around in several forms for a long, long time. I and will go on being the around. mechanics, which has again been around since. And what are you interested ancient in? Ancient civilizations. Then? And what are you interested in with the technology? I'm interested in the much more kind of social aspect of it. How important is it for us to be asking better questions? Part of the battle in moving the world forward is to ask better questions.